Hello Leo and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. Hope you are all doing amazing, fabulous, yes, all of that. Um, Leo, this is your bonus reading. It is a timeless reading. Um, so whenever you are drawn to view it, then that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's get straight into it. I don't want to be focusing on a particular subject. Basically, whatever the cards want to reveal for Leo, the collective that is watching this, um, wherever you are in the world and whenever, um, these messages may be for you, especially if they resonate. So let's see what they want to tell you. I will still be uploading your usual weekly love reading, Leo. So do not worry about that. This is just a bonus um, for you just to get into the nitty and gritty of any messages or insight that you should be aware of for your highest good. So it is Sunday afternoon here where I am and I usually post your weekly love readings on Tuesday. Um, so um, here in Australia, I'm actually one day ahead. For example, if you are in America, for example, I am one day ahead of you. So um, yeah, the times when you watch my readings, it's still going to be uploaded as per usual. Let's get straight into it, Leah. Let's get into your bonus reading and anything that you should know for your highest good, please. Whoa. What's that? Three of Swords. Okay. Mm, okay. Libra energy. We've got some, some heartache here. Okay. What happened? Third party situation. Doesn't mean that's going to happen. I kind of feel that has already happened, but what's coming after that? Here we go. And we'll probably be with this highlighted message. What do we have? Yes, you got my favorite card for healing. It is temperance ruled by Sagittarius. This is a beautiful card for healing mm -hmm. of taking the time. You know, this is the complete opposite of the devil whereas the card of extremes it's like i want it all and i want it all now no temperance says no we're going to be healing now and i definitely feel when i saw that three of swords it was kind of like it went you know flipped the other way so i could see it um if there yeah if you have experienced any heartache and it doesn't matter if it happens you know last week yesterday or you know more than a year ago um it's still showing here that um you know you're you're still focusing on you, on that healing, moving forward. How do we do that is just by doing the things that we love and putting you first. Number one, that's very important here. Um, and it's peace, balance and harmony. I feel like it's kind of desperately needed now um, as well. You definitely don't want anyone coming into your life or even back into your life with any baggage or anything like that. No, 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 no. Um, we have the high priestess. Wow. The high priestess here ruled by Pisces. So already you're starting off with a lot of major arcanas here. So what is your intuition telling you? Because I'm really thinking that a lot of you may be kind of feeling a little bit emotionally triggered or being you catch yourself thinking a lot more about a past relationship that did not work out. Um, perhaps there were too many secrets. You know, maybe the person was a bit of a mystery as well. You know, even if they were just white lies, it's still like I say, at the end of the day, it's, it is a lie, right? Even if this person didn't want to hurt your feelings. Um, this is a very quiet card. I say quiet card. Why? Because you don't really have to do much at all. So during perhaps even a quiet period in your life over the next few weeks, you're going to have some knowledge, some secrets, information things that were hidden are all going to be revealed to you and your intuition you know this actually like i said it's a very intuitive card and perhaps even leo it's telling you hey is this situation really over or, or is it not um but yeah i am honestly feeling oh i don't know you may be thinking this there's something still that's not over maybe let's see let's look more at the bottom of yeah oh yeah the deck we've got judgment um, that's a major for a Scorpio. Now, you've already come out with a lot of major arcana, so I can already tell that your bonus is going to be a very powerful reading. Now, this is someone that has had a major epiphany, a huge wake-up call. Um, and this usually happens when we have major life changes here. And it seems here, because you know, I'm still going back to that Three of Swords. Um, it may, maybe your person made a horrible decision, bad judgment in the past. And I say that especially because we have that Queen of Pentacles. That's Earth energy. Was your person committed to someone else? Were they married to someone else? Um, and they put you in a third party. Or this could literally be we have a family member or someone doesn't have to be romantic. That was kind of interfering. And now your person realizes, eee, yeah, I really need to heal this. And I need to kind of come clean here to Leo. Um, and this is about kind of bringing something back to life. It's unfinished business and it's someone asking for a second chance though. Now remember, it doesn't have to be romantic. This can be a family member or a friend here. Um, yeah, oh, we got two queens, okay. Now, from my experience after all these years, what's like, I think I'm going on 25 years now of doing, um, you know, tarot readings full time. I'm not a fan when I see two queens. 
No. Not at all, especially now we've got the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I'm seeing, Leo, that a lot of you um, are really kind of still trying to heal or really moving on, moving forward, you know, keep that wheel going um, of moving past this third party situation. Wow. Someone's going to be taking action here towards you. And it seems here that someone is recognizing now with this huge epiphany of judgment, they could have had it all with you. Some of you were actually either committed to them. It felt like a committed relationship or married. But again, I am seeing that there was a third party and whatever that third party will represent um, for any for all of you, um, Leah, it's going to be different. But I think you know what it is. And now your person has been holding back with that eight of swords. They've been holding back proactively because they're quite nervous here. Something is going to be revealed to you, but I think they're just going to clarify your intuition, what you've always known. Let's get into your main reading. That was a lot there to process already. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, there definitely could be children involved. In fact, you know, in retrospect, it's almost like you're recognizing what your person did in the past was a very immature. But pages here can represent someone that's very creative. You know, they always think outside the box. Um, but we, we do have messages with apology. They are fueled by love. They're backed up by emotions here. And yeah, I kind of think that, um, it's not that it's gonna take you by surprise. I think you always knew that they were going to come back though. And that's, whatever this person says or does, it's just gonna confirm your intuition. Perhaps you're still feeling each other's energy with that high priestess, so. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Mm, during this time it's like oh weighing up the pros and cons how do i approach leo after all as i say every week you are being represented by the lion <laughs> this you know as they say the king and the queen of the jungle so to underestimate you is a big big no-no for them or anyone um you know how do i approach it do i you know just call do i send a text message here it's like they don't know what's the right way to approach you but this could also mean here that um it's decision time it's about making choices leo are you going to respond to this person because judgment always says that you're going to have your final say. The judgment call is going to finally be yours, Leo. Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. Okay, it seems here that your person did walk away from you. Now, if you were the one that walked away, I felt like you haven't. I always say this. If you were the one that walked away, it's like you felt like you had no other choice. There, there was no other avenue to fix this, especially if you were put in a third party situation where, yes, maybe it was infidelity or your person decided to defend someone else over you. Um, and it seems here that your person tried to emotionally disconnect from you. It's like, you know what? I left Leo. I, I don't want anything to do with Leo. It's like, how's that working out? Because clearly they want to heal this. Their intuition is saying it. They're going to bring it back to life. They're trying to. Um, with an apology and the Ten of Pentacles, you know, they realize I could have it all with you. And I'm feeling here, you may be deciding here, do I stay or do I walk away now? So it's almost like you, you're pretty much in a position of power. You probably don't see this, Leo, but I think you will. And your person's a little bit worried about that. The Knight of Cups, more Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. So messages, changes of the romantic kind. Now, every time I see this card, I always kind of magnify on the bottom right here. Um, if you can see, we have an envelope there with your person. He's holding onto a bouquet of roses and the horse there signifies movement charging forward. This person has not sent you this message yet, but emotionally they've been thinking, they've been feeling, I've got to do it. I'm seeing multiple apologies already and they just want to re-spark this again. They're definitely wearing their heart on the sleeve and they're being led by their emotions now. What is the heart of your reading is the Hierophant. Major therefore Taurus. So this is my commitment card slash marriage card. So I'm kind of seeing here that they may actually get be a little bit direct in saying, listen, I want to be with you. I don't want to be with anyone else. Something along the lines like that. But they do want to approach you correctly. So even though your person may be creative and, you know, they think outside the box and they're all adventurous. When it comes to you, though, Leah, when this happens, definitely they want to do it correctly. If anything, go by the traditional route. And this could be just not to scare you off, for example. But they definitely want to recommit to you. The choice is what do you want to do? The Nine of Cups. Pisces energy. Wow, look at this. So this is um, where it gets interesting. This is my wish fulfillment card. Emotional contentment. This person's leaping for joy thinking if Leah responded to me, um, this is it. I've won the lottery. It's actually quite interesting because your person here could actually literally be leaving a third party or people, situation and events that no longer serve them. But they're going towards the nine of cups, which is you. Their wish fulfillment. This is a beautiful line here. Lots of emotions. There you are. 
They're thinking about you, strength card. You, actually, for some of you, yes, you could be dealing with a fellow Leo, but they are building up their courage and their inner strength, those inner reserves of courage that they need during times like this to face you. Um, usually this happens when the self-esteem, their confidence, it's just kind of like hit rock bottom, thinking, wow, I rejected Leo? I can't believe I actually did this. So they're kind of analyzing their past decisions is like, I can't believe I did that, but I did it, but now I want to fix this. This does speak of unconditional love and also holding back. So yes, your person has been holding back. We, we've seen that here with the Eight of Swords. It has taken their almighty strength. If they weren't feeling so guilty, um, literally, Leo, this person would have approached you a long time ago. And I think they're going to tell you that with the High Priestess. What do we have in the near future is Aries energy with that Two of Wands. So again, yet they know what they need to do because these ones do represent metaphorically decisions. They've reached a crossroads. They're holding on to one. They're looking out, projecting into the future. It's like, I know what I need to do. So your person will be stepping into the unknown. In fact, for them, it's been quite courageous. <laughs> um, but it's also courageous of you if you want to hear this person out to, you know, be vulnerable with your heart once more. Very interesting. So they're reaching out first. And we have the King of Wands, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius energy. And I couldn't help to notice is that spirit is showing here that you are being represented as your perfect match. This was a very passionate physical relationship, but it was fun and you bounced off each other. You just got each other. You may have had your inside jokes or, you know, when you complete each other's sentences. I'm seeing here that both of these are natural born leaders. So many of you actually may have your own business here, entrepreneurs, but um, yeah, this is why they're coming back. Oof, this is interesting. Let me clarify these cards for you. Yeah, temperance again. They want to heal this. Oh boy, do they want to heal this. Yep, Ace of Swords. But to do this, they need to offer clarity. And I suppose that's probably the hardest thing to do, isn't it? Page of Swords, uh, sorry, Page of, um, no, it's Page of Wands. I was going to say Page of Cups, Page of Wands, finding creative ways here to reach out to you. I think a lot of you will be happy to hear from this person, but I think you're going to let them talk. <laughs> See what they have to say. This couldn't have been timing. I don't know, this third party, I keep asking myself, why were they there? Maybe your person was committed or married to them. All right, two more. Last one. All right, so we're going to clarify these cards. Let's see what else does your person want with you. What are they thinking? Here we go. Oh, ooh, you got the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups um, and also the Two of Cups is the true card of love. This very well may happen within the next full moon. I always look at that moon phase right there. Wow. Okay, this spells, I'm going to say all the meanings, and I'm sorry if I repeat myself, but for those that are new to my channel, what does this Ace of Cups mean? There's so much love here that, I mean, in this instance, the water is here, but usually the water is actually coming out, represents emotions. So we've got pregnancy, we've got babies, children's, engagements, marriage, um, the return of health, falling in love all over again. And I always say we don't have to get married. We can be happily committed um, as well. But if you, know, if you do want to get married, all of the possibilities are here. Beautiful. Yep. The Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy, they want to recommit to you. And you may be wondering, ah, is the juice worth the squeeze? Do I want to commit to this person? I honestly feel that when they come clean, you're going to have a bit more of that clarity because this is about investing. It's planting that seed and you're going to get the message. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is the second fastest moving energy. For a lot of you, your person could be at a certain distance here as well. If it's not a long distance relationship, they're probably just feeling that emotional distance where, <laughs> Leo, you've got no problem moving on with or without them. So like to what I said, if they're going to come back, they know they, do, they need to do it correctly or don't come at all. Look at that, the Nine of Cups twice. So you may be mirroring each other, not 100% until I see the Two of Cups. Um, but yeah, they're actually going to be messaging you about their feelings, how you are their wish fulfillment along those lines. Mm -hmm. The Five of Wands, Leo energy, they're just worried here that you're going to be triggered, that this may erupt into some kind of argument according to your person. Um, because, you know, Leo, how you are represented as having that fiery energy and you're not afraid to speak your mind. After all, you know, we have that saying, you know, don't poke the bear. But what happens if you keep poking the lion? We've seen in, you know, uh, like documentaries and all that. When a lion gets angry, the lion gets very angry, right? Um, so they could be quite intimidated. <laughs> I absolutely love your energy. I have very strong Leo in my chart. So 
when I've seen Leos explode, they've got a pretty good reason to, and I have a feeling they're quite intimidated here. This could definitely represent when there are too many people around the connection, you know, sticking their noses in saying, oh, you know, why are you going back to Leo? Why this, why that? I'm always outstand, outstanded, is that even a word? I'm not pleasantly surprised when I see too many people trying to get involved in adult relationships, like why do that? Um, <laughs> They're probably worried that there's competition for your attention here as well. Either way, they don't want to trigger you, which is why they're thinking, I've got to do this slowly and correctly. Because temperance says one day at a time, right? Um, Page of Cups here is represented by the King of Wands. Yeah, they're going to take action. The King of Wands has come out twice. They are definitely, I think they're realizing that you're not chasing them. <laughs> you're not doing that. Mm -mm. Look, we start with the King of Wands. We end with the King of Wands. This is, you know, basically someone that is going to take the reins. They're going to take action here. They know here that this is the right thing to do. Wow. Two of Pentacles is clarified by the um, Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. And that's where the decision lies. Do you want to go back to this knowing that possibly there could be drama? That possibly maybe there is less than desirable people around your person. Could be that third party. Maybe it was a certain family member, co-worker or a friend. Mm-hmm. Five of Swords always does, always, uh, just repeated myself, indicate here that the only way this can actually be fully repaired is to start from the ground up and leave, leave these undesirable people behind you. Um, and also, it's like, keep things to yourself. Silence is gold. And I think your person's realizing that. They don't have to announce everything to the world. Yes, they, this person loves you <laughs> with the Ace of Cups, the Nine of um, Cups twice. But not everybody's going to be clapping for you. And I think your person is starting to realize that. Eight of Cups is clarified by the lovers. Gemini energy, deep soulmate connection. Why did I walk away? That's almost like the person is kind of feeling here. Why did I walk away from my soulmate? I walked away from Leo. This is about making a decision. And that clearly it was a wrong decision with the judgment card. Oh God, now they're coming back to you. There is a lot of love here. And there's a lot of passion here towards you, Leo. Knight of Cups is represented um, here, or I say represented, but clarified by the Five of Cups Scorpio energy. So this is where the apology comes in. They're going to be very direct in their emotions about their regrets. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have walked away here. But they did it. They may have just chosen the easy route out. Maybe they didn't want any confrontation. But now they're wallowing here thinking, okay, Leo probably hates me. How can I fix this? The Hierophant is clarified by the Seven of Cups. Yeah, we've got a bit of emotional confusion, a little bit on your end. Do I want to recommit to this? Sometimes that shows up. Maybe in the past, your person may have had commitment issues. Maybe they had too many opportunities, you could say, too many options here. You know, do I stay single? Um, do I go to Leo? Do I go back perhaps to this third party? Um, so everything's all up in the air. But when we get the Seven of Cups, it's always telling us that we have to come back down to Earth and we have to make a decision. So Leo, it's going to fall on your shoulders because they will be reaching out first. Do you want to commit to this person? You may have your own options as well. The Nine of Cups is clarified here by the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. So this is my reconciliation card. Again, showing there could be that element of that third party, which is why you're thinking, oh, what do I do? How do I even respond to this person? But this comes with healing. The Three of Cups comes with a lot of healing as well. It is reconciliation. In fact, you know, this person may say, why don't we start off as friends? It is a white lie and I will give them that because it's not a bad lie. They do want to recapture your heart again with the Ace of Cups. Um, but I'm seeing here fun times. So they definitely could be asking you out like on a date, going somewhere social, maybe having both families or, you know, both sides of friends here, you know, all hanging out, having a good time here, having a couple of drinks. Um, but I think that's when things get serious. Yeah. The Strength card here is clarified by the King of Swords. This is Aquarius energy, could be a Gemini and a Libra. So yeah, the fact that they haven't said it yet to you because you know the sword is pointing down. So there is closed or well, little even blocked communication. That's why they're building up you know, their courage and their strength because the King of Swords only tells the truth. So they're going to be very blunt in their intentions, why things fizzled out. Um, anything that is you're uncertain about or if there's a big question mark, no closure. Um, yeah, they're building up their courage here to actually tell you that. And that's one thing I do admire with the Queen and the King of Swords um, equally is that they're coming in to tell you the truth. So they are embodying the energy of that King of Swords. Interesting. So the Two of Wands is clarified by the world. So you are actually in this um, card. We have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio and Taurus. 
and it's a really good card to get because it seems here that i mean they're definitely looking out and they want a brand new cycle with you they want to start all over again and it really shows here that any difficult difficulty or challenges uh, between you and your person even as individuals that's wrapped up because this shows endings here it's a very good omen to get considered very lucky to see this in um, your spread so we've got a promise here of a brand new beginning with this person the king of wands is clarified by the seven of wands and that is your energy that is leo energy so this is someone that is going to be quite assertive very straightforward they're coming a bit in defensive mode only because they're just worried that you're going to be in kind of like this mentality i don't see that you will yes i do see perhaps that you know, you're quite um, guarded here and very protective of your energy. But this is someone now that through action um, is going to actually say, let me fight for you. Let me prove to you how things have changed, how I can offer you that um, Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, all those wonderful energies here. Um, yeah, they're a little bit worried that you're going to judge them harshly, but um, it's something that I don't know, they're, they're, they're just willing to do this. They're hyping themselves up. Let's get one more card for the ending. Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Wow. So we've got very strong um, Virgo and Taurus energy. I still feel that you're kind of conflicted. Do I stay single and move forward on my own and be independent? Or do I commit to this person? See, because of what happened, they put you in that third party. Let me get one more card here from the Light Seers. Let's see. Oh, get that one. This one. They're saying yes? All right. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy to invest in this. And I was looking at the, I wasn't actually going to get this card, but I just got this urge to pull it. And yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. You may actually be considering here a passionate new start with them. It's one that kind of lights that fire in your belly, makes you excited again. It brings up um, that confidence up. Let's go on the top. The Ace of Wands, what's that going to lead to? The ace of cups again <laughs> yeah look at that okay so we definitely have um new beginnings here the fact that you got the ace of cups twice and you also got to the ace of wands so everything is telling you this is all about a brand new beginning so yeah you may be procrastinating thinking do i do this do i do that hard decisions are going to have to be made but you've got a lot more for you now um than against you in fact i think your person's going to tell you listen i'm single but i'm ready to commit to you now and that's going to make you quite happy you've got really beautiful cards here Leo, this is what you can expect over the next few days. Thank you for joining me for your bonus reading. Um, and just to, as a reminder, I will be uploading your usual weekly love reading on Tuesday morning. So thank you for joining me and I wish you the very, very best. Please take care. Bye.